A man once stole a teenager. He made him his servant. The teen servant did all the household chores. The master gave him barely enough food to survive. He lived in a dark, damp room and was whipped for the smallest of mistakes. A kind man in the neighborhood once saw this atrocity and felt really bad for the teen. He started planning the teen's independence. The master knew that the kind man had the means and motive to unshackle his servant, so he came up with a master plan. He gave his servant a baseball bat and instructed him to beat the kind man with it next time he approached. That very night, when the master slept peacefully, the servant slipped into his room, cracked his skull open with a swift blow of the bat. He then fled away to safety. Quite a weird story, right? Wait, it's not. It's a fictionalized take on the illegal occupation of Tibet by the CCP. The CCP stole Tibet. Tibet gets stepmotherly treatment from the CCP and inhuman atrocities are routinely committed on hapless Tibetan people. Friendly neighbor India is determined to unshackle Tibet. The CCP knows it and is now arming the Tibetans to take on India. All the CCP needs to do is get a nice sleep and get its skull open by the Tibetans. And welcome. You're watching TFI English, the geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Atul Mishra and in this video I will tell you how China's new border law against India could spell doom for the CCP's rule in Tibet. Let's begin. Late last month, the Chinese Communist Party passed a new law to strengthen land border protection amid the ongoing military tensions with India. The legislation formalizes combining the military defense of China's land borders with improving social and economic development in border areas. According to the Hindustan Times, the law mandates that the PLA works closely with civilians staying in border areas, for example, Tibetan villages living along the border with India, Bhutan and Nepal, and use them as China's first line of defense. Essentially, China now wants all countries it shares border disputes with to simply suck it up and abide by the Chinese laws. Unfortunately for Xi Jinping, India is not a country that will give in to China's high-handedness. The law says that the state shall take measures to safeguard territorial integrity and land boundaries and guard against and combat any act that undermines territorial sovereignty and land boundaries. The law stipulates that the state shall take measures to strengthen border defense, support economic and social development as well as opening up in border areas improve public services and infrastructure in such areas, encourage and support people's life and work there, and promote coordination between border defense and social economic development in border areas. China believes that if it erects border area settlements, villages and towns across the Indo-Tibetan border, India will not be able to launch military offensives against the communist nation. It is for this very reason that Article 43 of the new law states, the state supports the construction of border towns, improves the system of border towns, improves the function of border towns and strengthens the construction of supporting capacity. The PLA had earlier this year begun a desperate lookout for Tibetans who served China as soldiers. Essentially, the CCP was working out a mechanism where Tibetans help the Chinese state in colonizing Tibet which is already a victim of illegal Chinese occupation. However, this effort has proven to be a disaster like no other. According to a report by Times Now, despite China's all-out effort to recruit Tibetans in the People's Liberation Army and paramilitary outfits, the response from Tibetans has been tepid. This despite the strong-arm tactics and efforts by the CCP to force monks to bless the recruits. Tibetans have resoundingly slapped the CCP and its private militia force, the PLA, in the face. Tibetans who share a culture with India have made it clear that they have no interest in fighting on behalf of the PLA or for it. The PLA is known to commit the most horrifying of atrocities and human rights violations on Tibetans. As such, Tibetans do not want to be a part of the PLA since and are instead choosing to reject the CCP's moves in their land. For several centuries now, India and Tibet have inextricably been tied to each other and China has always envied the bond which these two great civilizations share. 
Buddhism, which originated out of India, was quick to sweep across Tibet. Tibetans have a sense of respect for Indian culture, which is from where their faith originated. China thinks that if it settles Tibetan civilians right at the border with India, they will serve as the communist nation's first line of defense. However, China is living in a lala land and is engaging in what is generally known as wishful thinking. Tibetans having been brutalized for over 70 years now and are looking up to India to help them reclaim their freedom. So by placing Tibetan civilians close to the Indian border, China is paving the way for Indian armed forces to gain crucial intel from Tibetans which would help the Indian army in anti-PLO operations when the need arises. The Indian army is also giving special training to soldiers and officers to help them win over the hearts of Tibetans and nullify whatever little influence China has in the occupied region. Soldiers and officers serving along the LAC are being given special training under which they are learning all about Tibet. The course called Tibetology encompasses training of culture, language, history along with the Buddhist philosophy followed in Tibet. The Tibetology course is aimed towards making soldiers efficient in handling intelligence operations in Tibet, ultimately leading to better strategies for India. India has special operations and a highly covert armed force called the Special Frontier Force or the SFF and it is aimed squarely at China. The force is comprised of Tibetans alone, so it is evident that Tibetans are willing to fight alongside India to take on China and not the other way around. The SFF was even pushed into action in August-September last year when the Indian Army took control of several strategic heights in eastern Ladakh in what was termed as Operation Snow Leopard. China is wrong in gauging the mood of ordinary Tibetans. They are hell-bent on gaining freedom from China and by settling them near the border with India, China might just have dug its own grave.